Scott, also known as the little guy, the guy on the left, the silent one, has long-lasting COVID symptoms and still cannot fully taste or smell. Hashtag, trust Bart. Hey, it's the Scott's Test Dummies. We've got Bradshaw. Straight Rye. Woo, Kentucky Straight Rye. Match one, and we're gonna... Test it! Super Bowl Bradshaw style. Bradshaw Steel Curtain back-to-back -back style. Ooh, the Immaculate Reception. Yeah! Probably a lot of the same stuff we said when we did the Bradshaw bourbon. Maybe. I bet you we said something a little different. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. I'm ready. I'm just turning on or turning off my notifications here since it just went bing bong. All like, right. Like you. We can go bing bong. Bing bong. Yeah, that's probably accurate. So this is 51.9%. Okay. 103.8 proof, if you want to do that. Now, real quick what, disclaimer, they did send this to did. us. Uh, the, the bourbon batch as well, they mm -hmm. did. Bradshaw bourbon, and now Bradshaw Kentucky straight rye whiskey. Mm -hmm. Kentucky, telling me this probably isn't sourced from Indiana, right? Yeah. Well, There's yeah. no other information. Right. right. So, but I mean, because when I first, so they said, hey, we love the bourbon review you did. Can we send you this? Go ahead. I just thought maybe you'd want it sitting there. I said, sure. And I'm thinking, hmm, I bet you MGP is going to be involved in the rye. I love MGP rye anyway. But then it says Kentucky Straight. Wow. Oh, oops. Ooh, holy moly. You did that on purpose. Yeah, I did. Because over at your house, you <laughs> I were heard it. Yeah, I heard a glug, glug. It's like glug, glug, glug. I'm like, wow. Hello. <laughs> you got some drinking. I'm you? like, woo, that's oops, some glug, that's glug. A little bit. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, yeah, you did. My goodness. You're wasting it. So, we also noticed on there, looking at the years that are on there, it looks like Bradshaw had back-to-back, -back, two back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins. Well, I knew they had, yeah, the 70s were, yeah. uh, were the were uh, the days of the Steelers, right. the Steel Curtain. And I didn't not. realize, though, that they had two, two. separate back-to-backs. Huh. Yeah. That's quite an achievement. Ew. Yeah, it is. As Hello. Bronco fans know, yes. doing back-to-back. Back-to-back's hard enough. It's hard enough. Hard enough. That's what she yeah, said. the 74, 75. Yeah, they did on the 70s there. That must oh. have been cool. What you got? Nope, oh, get your coin. Thank you. So, I like rice. I warmed up to rice before I warmed up to bourbon. Now, there's, I kind of feel like there's two or three styles of rye. You'll get a dillish kind of taste going, you'll get a, a pepper, um, and then you kind of get. Uh, it's almost to me feels like a bourbon rye where you get these caramel bread, rye bread. And that's what I get with this. I feel like I'm getting a rye bread with caramel nose. Caramel? Caramel nose? Um, <laughs> I was going to say sweet, <clears throat> sweet rye, vanilla cinnamon. Okay. See, I get rye it's, all over that. Yeah, rye. Now, what was the? There's something in the mash process that will create the dill. Well, notes, if right? uh, my understanding is that if some bacteria gets in, it can give it that dill that flavor, dill note. Right. So the premise being the the more exact a distiller is in their rye distilling, the less or no dill flavors you're going to get at all. But some people love the dill. I actually have a couple where I like the dill myself. So mm. better palate initially than I was expecting. Mm. Yeah, because rye's can come off. Well, they're powerful. They're punchy. So what and also, got? well, and also keep in mind, I'm still recovering from COVID, almost <laughs> a year in. Fake. I'm almost back. Now I will tell you, yesterday I smelled. I was using garlic, and I could smell it. Mm. And it's. I mean, it smelled like garlic. I've been smelling stuff, but anything that's pungent has had like a really strong chemical smell to it, which has been garlic. Like when but you, yesterday, oh, I thought you were talking about walking the dogs. Well, that too. Anything that's pungent, that's a blessing. Poop, gasoline, <laughs> um, garlic, onions, okay. all smells the so same. So the super it just, strong It just smelled stuff. like a chemical. Wow. But yesterday, garlic smelled like garlic, and black pepper smelled like black pepper. First time. Wow. 
in almost a year. It was October, late October last year. Garlic was garlic. Pepper was pepper. Were you crushing First it? Time. You were hand no, crushing was, uh, pepper? No, pickled. Pickled uh, the little minced garlic. Got it. So um, on this, I get, I mean, it's the rye dough caramel notes. I just got a little vanilla there. And then a little bit of like a, um, might be cracked pepper. Do you get a little cracked pepper in there as well? No, my, of course, my nose still hindered a little bit, but uh, kind of that sweet, touch. sweet rye, cinnamons, and vanillas uh, was about it on the nose. Palette is really uh, exceeded what I expected to be there. It's a lot more um, saturating mm -hmm. than I thought. Still a lot of, it's a sweet, sweet, uh, and I'm searching for the rye here, but right. it's a sweet That was the vanilla. surprising part to me. Yeah. So this is that third one I talked about where, I, where I've, I've got some rye that'll give you the rye-ish dough with the vanilla bourbons and the caramel kind of mixtures. Mm -hmm. That's this. Mm -hmm. This isn't the, uh, the cinnamon red hots. This isn't the pepper. This isn't the dill. So that's interesting. A yeah. slight, I was getting slight rise on the finish there. Not very much. Uh, more... And, and slight citrus, maybe some orange zest a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with two drops here. Yeah. Now, here's what I love about rise as well. Rise, a lot of times, water gives them great transitions. A lot of movement around with water or cube. So, uh, rise are usually so strong um, that rise will sometimes even change them up a little bit as you dilute. So, they're real fun to play with, with your uh, dilution. Huh. The nose didn't change. Okay, two drops of water it hasn't hurt this. Of course, it is 51.3%. Yeah, I, like I like the strength. I like the, the proof on it. Uh, may have slightly helped with the saturation of the palate, just with the velvety feel of it. All the notes are the same. Just a sweet vanilla, slight, maybe an orange zest citrus in there. Three total drops. Not, bring her down. not heavy on any rye notes, mm -mm. though. No, the, uh, the rye isn't, like, overpowering at all. Again, it kind of hits me as a rye dough, like the dough's rising in, in a bowl or something. It's almost the smell of the rye. Compared to on the floor. <laughs> it's in a bowl. You maybe let your bread rise in something else. I don't know. You probably have a bread maker. Some probably do have a little, little let it rise a on the countertop. Maker. Yeah, maybe you're sitting on the countertop. Mom yeah. had this big clay tan bowl. Heavy as all get out. And she would throw it in. It always amazed me. I know I've gone too far, but it amazed yeah, me right. how a little bit of that bread would rise and come yeah, up over the top. Yes. Yeah. She'd throw that damp, like, terry cloth over the top of it. And, just, and I was like, I just loved it. You'd come home from school and be like, oh, my. So. Well, overall, exceeding expectations, but not a lot of rye. The whiskey itself is good. I like the palate mm -hmm. on it. Um, good notes. It's not, it's not overly dark. Nope. The whiskey itself at fifty one point nine, it's not diluted that much. You know, with with the distillery water. Mm -hmm. I would almost expect it to be a little bit darker if it was a little bit older. So that leads me to believe it's younger. Hmm. Of course, it's straight rye, so it has to be at least two years. I get a little ginger now in the finish. I would agree with that. Down. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get that before. Yeah, interesting. So the water helped bring out a little bit of those ginger flavors in the finish. And what I would say, review-wise, if uh, rye, if you've tried a rye and it's been too strong for you, the, 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 the palate seemed to be overpowering, this leans more toward like that bourbon rye. This oh. almost reminds me of those High West where they were doing the combinations. They had the boo mm, rye where yeah. they were combining a bourbon and a rye together. Yeah. I know this isn't that, but it has that taste kind of feel of that. Yeah. So, kind of interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm starting at an 80 okay. now. This yeah. is exceeding expectations. I'm, I'm going to score. I'm, Let me oh. score before you just because I don't want to hit your points. Um, I'm going to give it an 88 on the rye. I like it. I was going 85. Ah, okay. 
See, yeah. and I lean toward Rye's. I like Rye's. Um, like I said, Rye's were my entry in American whiskey before bourbon. The Bradshaw bourbon I probably scored. I, might, I don't remember what I scored it. The same, I think, it I met or just yeah. barely exceeded expectations. But um, I was scoring, I started in 85 then. Mm -hmm. Maybe I get, I, I don't remember where I was at. This one is, uh, started at an 80. I'm giving it an 85. So, so I want to do better. one extra little talking point here. So, this is obviously, this is, um, you know, we have Terry Bradshaw involved here. So we have a celebrity. And I'm getting the feel that, um, I know I read a little bit when we did the bourbon that he's more involved. It's not like he's paying somebody to go just pick something and they're relabeling it from my understanding. But I wasn't sure what to expect with this. I was a little surprised there was even a rye coming out. So I'm... I'm actually, from the celebrity side of things, I'll admit I'm usually a little bit let down hmm. by some of the celebrity bottlings that come out. Okay. Fair and, point. Uh, right. And this one, um, not at all. Now, I'm not saying it's my favorite rye ever. I like Pikesville, because I do. But um, it's a very solid, and I like the high proof that came in. It doesn't feel like it's being just mailed in. Right. I'm assuming... He likes rye and bourbons, and he's picking off of some some flavor palettes that that meet his. I just got Coca Cola. Ooh, on the palate, way way. I still like that ginger finish. Um, so. I did see this recently in our store. I think this is like thirty five dollar range. Hmm. Well worth it, I think. Very much, especially at that price point. So, because yeah. I didn't know the price, I know that was part of his thing is that he wanted to keep it affordable. Yeah. He wasn't looking to put out a hundred and fifty dollar bottle or whatever. Yeah. I think he even. Made a little bit of fun of Manning, <laughs> who had a real expensive bottling. So, which is good. I like it. It's approachable. It's tasty. It's high proof. And I think you're going to enjoy it. And it's a great rye transition for someone who mostly just drinks bourbon. So, I think you'll like the rye notes that are that are involved. What do we got coming we in? We got a traveling dummy, and it's Woo! been a long time. Long time since we had a traveling dummy. But what is traveling dummy? This one's from, well, you, you take our coins. Yes. And you're at uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, and you're holding it up, yes. and you hold up our coin at the same yes. time. You're in Rome, you in the a picture. Coliseum. Boom, all of a sudden, that's a traveling dummy. Gladiatorial. Warner Glass, we met Ooh, in Glasgow. Yes. Yes. He's a traveler. He's a huge traveler. Pilot? Yeah. If I remember right. I think so. He flies. Used to travel a lot, but because of COVID, hasn't been. He's mm. just now hit the trail again. Ooh, he was one of our big traveling dummies. He's at, yep. He's at Milroy's uh, in London, London's oldest Ooh. whiskey specialist, so yes. it says here. Greek Street. Number and he's three. got, and that's our 20, say goodbye Ooh, to 2020 That's coin. this one right here. We can't show yep. you the backside because it's not safe for work. It's a And then a, a picture on the bar, Man. on the bar Ooh. with the bottles behind it. Quite They've a got a nice bar. There. Look at that. But, um... You can go to scotchtestdummies.com and buy these coins. You can buy glasses, hats, shirts, help support the show. It keeps the lights on, buys whiskey. These are conversational devices. So you throw it in your pocket. This is a military thing. We're both in the Army. You order a uh, dram, if they've got Glen Cairns that it'll fit on at the bar. Pull it out of your pocket. You put the little topper on there, and it starts a conversation. It starts a whiskey conversation. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They need that explanation every yeah. time whiskey, we bring up the coins. We don't, we don't talk that deep into it usually. Tell them about Patreon. You can go to Patreon. You look up Scotch Test Dummies. If you like the show, if you like the hats, you like the odd shirts I'll wear sometimes, you can go there support for as little, little as a dollar. Literally. Literally. You can do 20 if you want. It's like you throw it in and it's per show, but if you only want to do a dollar and you limit it at a dollar, that's all we'll get from you for the month. Seems like a deal. You can do 20. That's right. <laughs> so, scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.